Finally we landed in Sri Lanka. We finished our immigration formalities and took some cash from the ATM. We used commercial bank ATMs and they didn't charge extra for the conversions. We used Neo Global credit card. You can consider it. We booked rental cars from Kandi Cars. Hello. Hello. Bro, hello. 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 Finished all car formalities in the airport and we got our driving permits. Then we started our first journey to Sigria. It was 3 hours travel. We went to hotel and checked in and after getting fresh up, we went to our first destination, Lion Rock. Indians get special concession on the ticket. Please carry passport for the concession. We started climbing the line drop. It was steep. As people say, greatest views comes after hardest climb. After a moderate trek, we had great views from the top. After having great views from the line rock by noon we started our next destination to Kandy it was 2 to 2 and a half hours journey we booked our bus at Funk Bunks dormitory after that we went to explore the city you will get some of the best pastries and cafes in the city then for sunset we went to Kandy view point and ended our day So from day to early morning we checked out at Kandy and we started our drive to Ambulwawa Tower. It was around one hour drive. We took tickets and started climbing the tower. On the way, we saw a guy with anaconda charging 500 LKR to take picture with him. We were scared enough to touch it and we ran away. As we started ascending the tower, the steps become even more narrow. It was an adventurous and thrilling experience. It was damn windy at the top. After the thrilling view from the tower, we came to Muskelia and ended our day two. Day three early morning, we started our drive to Gardmore Falls. You can consider Adam's Peak early morning trek if you are into the treks. We walked along with the locals and had some small conversations and reached our viewpoint. After the majestic Gartmore Falls, we started our way to Nuvara Elia. On the way, we can see Saint Clair Falls as well. Don't skip this part. On the way to Nuvara Elia room, we stopped at Nanu Oya Railway Junction. At this junction, you will get some of the best Sri Lankan evening snacks, and it is worth a try.
and one more thing this is the closest railway station to nuwara area on day 4 we started off with nuwara area post office this is one of the oldest post office in sri lanka the whole nuwara area is highly influenced by british architecture we sent some post cards to india as well nextly we went to little england cottages in nuwara area we haven't done any pre booking here so we didn't get chance to enter the place please pre book if you are planning to visit this little england cottages we left from nuwara area to ella it was approximately 2 hours journey on the way we can see sita yaman temple it is believed that sita devi was kept captive at this site by king ravana We reached Ella by 4 p.m. We checked into hotel and we went to Nine Arch Bridge to see the train crossing. This train crossing is time specific. Please confirm with the locals or railway website. There is a way to bridge from the main road. Day five, we heard a hidden spot from the local lights, Demodara Black Bridge. It is located closer to Demodara railway station. We have to take a small trek to see this hidden spot, and it is truly peaceful. After that we rented a tuk-tuk and we started to Ravana caves. We collected our tickets and started ascending. It was a moderate trek for around half an hour. At top of the caves there is nothing but bats and darkness. அதுவே இது போய் போடுறதா சொல்லிடுவேனா நீங்க வீட்ல தெரியுங்கலாம் போக மாட்டானால அந்த அம்மா நேத்தே கோயில் போனாங்க நான் போக முடியாதுடா நெக்ஸ்ட்லி ராவணா ஃபால்ஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ லொகேட்டட் க்ளோசர் டு ராவணா கேவ்ஸ் இட் இஸ் 10 मिनिट ड्राइव फ्रॉम द கேவ்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் தி லார்ஜஸ்ட் ஃபால்ஸ் which we witnessed in sri lanka We reached Mirisa around evening and ended our day. Next day morning we started to Willingama beach to do some surfing. We went to Lucky Surf School at Willingama beach. We rented a surfboard. They also teach surfing and also provide assistance as well. You can check with them about the pricing details and the classes. Oh surfing after a small trip you can see still type of fishing with two wooden poles tied together it was new one and unique way of fishing they were charging 500 rupees to take picture on it after a small trip from the fishing village we reached parrot rock we had high tides that day and the sea was little bit shallow 
to cross. After the parrot rock, we reached Mirisa's most famous and photogenic coconut tree hill for the sunset. Day 7, by morning 8 am, we went to Green Turtle Snorkeling Center for turtle snorkeling. He charged 3000 LKR per person. He provided us fins and snorkeling dress. He rented a tuk-tuk and took us to the beach. He was the most friendly guy we met in Sri Lanka. Entering the beach, within few minutes we spotted a turtle. They continued feeding the turtle and it was roaming around us for 5 minutes. After that, we went for coral snorkeling in the same beach for around 3 to 4 hours. And he made sure the session was worth every penny we paid. On day 8, we checked out at Mirisa and we left to Galley. In Galley, we firstly went to Galley Food. And the entry was free here. From the 4th terrace, we can see Gali International Stadium. During match days, we can see match here for free. This Gali city is influenced by Dutch. We can see it evidently from their architecture and buildings. Gali city walk is must to explore their culture. After the Galley city walk, we started our drive to Colombo. On the way, we took a detour to Mount Lavinia beach to see this famous train crossing. Alongside chasing the train, we reached Colombo. We stayed at Granville Hotel Colombo. This had one of the best beach facing rooftop pool. You can consider this hotel as well. Day 9, we started off with famous Lotus Tower of Sri Lanka. We went early to avoid the crowd over there.
By noon, we reached Port City, Colombo, the new and famous tourist destination. This port city is being constructed as same replica of Dubai. Evening is the best time to reach here to spend some quality time and also to avoid humidity. Apart from this Lotus Tower and Port City, we have few other places also to visit in Colombo. Firstly, Peta Market. We can consider this market to buy some souvenirs. It is a Russian chaotic market. We also visited Ganga Ramaya Temple to know about Sri Lankan spiritual beliefs. I am adding other places in the next slide as well. With this, we ended our trip here. We returned the car to Kandikas itself at the airport. After some basic formality checks, they returned us the deposit. Please drop your questions in the comments. Thank you.